Welcome to this bite-sized lecture as part of the Huddersfield Textiles Evening School. So this month we're talking about water, um, the amount of water needed in textiles manufacturing, the impacts um, of textiles on water and the innovations to reduce these impacts. So starting with the agriculture of cotton, so cotton is an incredibly thirsty crop and can use um, up to 3,800 litres of water per um, kilogram of cotton harvested. So here we have um, an image of the impact of that water needed. So here we can see the Aral Sea in the year 2000 and then 14 years later um, the Aral Sea has significantly shrunk and this has happened due to the mismanagement of water for the irrigation of cotton crops. So this has had a huge impact on the habitat and environment of this area, but also on the people who live in and around this area. And if you want to know more about that, um, I would recommend the documentary White Gold, The True Cost of Cotton. So in addition to being a very thirsty crop, um, cotton can also cause wa water po pollution issues due to the pesticides and fertilisers um, that can leach into water systems. So cotton is one of the most uh, high highly produced plant-based fibres. So cotton makes up about a quarter of our global fibre production. And on the flip side, we have polyester, which is one of our most commonly used manufactured fibres, and it makes up about half of our global fibre production. So thinking specifically in terms of water use, Polyester is the complete opposite to cotton. So in the production of cotton, um, very small, if any, amounts of water are utilised. However, um, that doesn't mean cotton is, uh, sorry, polyester is um doesn't have any negative impacts on water. The ne negative impacts that we find are in relation to the plastic microfiber pollution. So per average load of washing, um, we could see up to uh, 500,000 polyester fibers shed um, into the wastewater. And one of the biggest issues around this is that we currently don't have a full understanding of the impact of these microfibers on animal life, marine life, or even human life. And if you want to know more about that, another documentary I would recommend is The Story of Microfibers. So within textiles manufacturing, um, we have um, a set of processes that we call finishing processes. So these processes um, are applied to our um, fabrics after they have been uh, knitted or woven um, to prepare them for their ultimate end use. Um, so many people will be familiar with dyeing and printing, but we have lots of other processes within this area of finishing. Um, so finishing is the chief cause of environmental impacts in the production phase of the textiles life cycle. In terms of water, the kind of issues we see are high quantities of water used and the release of chemicals into wastewater. So we're going to um, specifically look in a little bit more detail at dyeing and printing. But first, we're going just up the road to W.T. Johnson's, which is one of the best textile finishers in the world. Um, and they're based just up the road from our campus. Um, so lucky for us, um, they 
finish some of the finest fabrics in the world. Um, but also lucky for us, they are very careful in the way they manage um, water in terms of their finishing processes. They have their own source of water and they're very um, careful to manage that source of water um, in an environmentally efficient way. Thinking about textile dyeing uh, in more detail, um, textile dyeing can be very water intensive um, and produce effluent that is highly coloured and can uh, contain heavy metal pollutants such as zincs, coppers and chromiums. So chromiums in particular can be really harmful to human health. Um, so you can see in the image on the slide where um, uh, a river has been contaminated with um, effluent from a dye plant um, that has caused the river to turn red. And unfortunately, in countries where we have uh, poor working conditions and limited environmental protection, um, the kind of leaching of some of these pollutants into the environment can be incredibly damaging again both to um kind of plant life um animal life and human life Finally, focusing on printing, which is what you have been thinking about in your workshop today. Um, printing is one of the most chemically complex areas of textile processing. So there's a variety of techniques in textile printing and we're not going to look at all of them here. Uh, so I'm going to generalise here in terms of the uh, water related issues. Um, so with print, we have emissions to water from print paste residues being washed away and also the quantities of water used in cleaning. So um, anyone who's ever had a go at doing some screen printing um, will know that there is an awful lot of water required to clean screens out after use. So one of the really exciting innovations um, in textiles that has helped to reduce the amount of water used in textiles manufacturing is the development of digital textile printing. So typically screen printing can use in the region of 50 to 60 litres of water per metre, whereas digital printing can use less than two litres of water per metre. And on the left, you can see an image of Standfast and Barracks, who are based in Lancaster. Um, and our students work with Standfast and Barracks um, on live briefs. Um, and also, where possible, um, we have taken students to visit their uh, manufacturing facilities. Um, so they um, use a range of printing techniques, but they have invested in digital print as a way of reducing water usage um, and reducing um, environmental impact. And if you want to know more about them, they have a fantastic Instagram account with lots of great videos of their digital printers in action. So my question to you this week is what other textiles technological innovations can you find that reduce water usage, energy consumption or reduce the amount of waste generated? Um, so after Christmas, you'll be hearing a little bit less from me and a little bit more from my colleagues in the tech Nicole Textiles Department, who will be talking about more of these technological innovations in the world of textiles.